The African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child, also called the a ACRWC or Children's Charter, was adopted by the Organization of African Uni Unity in 1990. In 2001, the OAU legally became the African Union and was entered into force in 1999. Like the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Child, CRC, the Children's Charter is a comprehensive instrument that sets out rights and defines universal principles and norms for the status of children. The ACRWC and the CRC are the only international and regional human rights treaties that cover the whole spectrum of civil, political, economic, and social cultural rights. It calls for the creation of an African Committee of Experts on the Rights and Welfare of the Child. Its mission is to promote and protect the rights established by the ACRWC to practice applying these rights and to interpret the disposition of ACRWC as required of party states, African Union institutions, or all other institutions recognized by the AU or by a member state. Children in Africa are affected by many different types of abuse, including economic and sexual ex exploitation, gender discrimination in education and access to health, and their involvement in armed conflict. Other factors affecting African children include migration, early marriage, differences between urban and rural areas, childhood households, street children, and poverty. Furthermore, child workers in sub-Saharan Africa account for about 80 million children or 4 out of every 10 children under 14 years old, which is the highest child labor rate in the world. The ACRWC defines a child as a human being below the age of 18 years. It recognizes a child's unique and privileged place in African society and that African children need protection and special care. It also acknowledges that children are entitled to the enjoyment of freedom of expression, association, peaceful assembly, thought, religion, and conscience. It aims to protect the private life of the child and safeguard the child against all forms of economic exploitation and against work that is hazardous, interferes with the child's education or comprises his or her health or physical, social, mental, spiritual and moral development. It calls for protection against abuse and bad treatment, negative social and culture practices, all forms of exploitation or sexual abuse including commercial sexual exploitation and illegal drug use. It aims to prevent the sale and trafficking of children, kidnapping and begging of children. The Children's Charter originated because the member states of the AU believe that CRC missed important socio-cultural and economic realities, particularly to Africa. It emphasizes the need to include ex African cultural values and experiences when dealing with the rights of child in such as challenging traditional African views which often conflict with children's rights such as child marriage, parental rights and obligations towards their children and children born out of wedlock. Expressly saying that the children's charter is higher than any custom, tradition, cultural or religious practice that doesn't fit with the rights, duties and obligations in the charter. The Children's Charter has a clear defini definition of the child as a person aged under 18 years old. Outright prohibition on the recruitment of children that is under 18 years old in armed conflict and deals with conscription of children into the armed forces, prohibiting marriages of or betrothals involving children, prohibiting the use of children as beggars, granting girls the right to return to school after pregnancy, promoting affirmative action for girls' education, tackling, tackling specific African issues that affect children. For example, it called for the confrontation and abolishment of apartheid and similar systems, and although apartheid is now over, this provision is still applicable to children living under regimes practicing ethnic, religious, or other forms of discrimination, protecting handicapped children, etc.